Well, hello, chaps and chapesses, and today we are coming down to Testcombe. Tescombe is one of our fisheries on the River Test and uh, it's just up from the Mayfly pub above Stockbridge in the section that is kind of middle to upper Test. It's a stunning piece of main Test River. It's been very cold in the morning still. We've been dropping down to below zero at night time and it's, it takes, it's taking quite a long time to warm up this April. So I'm really hoping that uh, by leaving it until the afternoon um, in the middle of April, I'm coming down to investigate, really. I was down here last week. It was very cold, but every time the sun came up, there was a smattering of olives and the fish would come on. And then the sun went away and the cold wind blew and the fish just vanished and so did the olives. And it was kind of a repeat process. So there wasn't an awful lot of going on, but I'm really hoping that by now things have warmed up a little bit more so that we might be able to get some dry fly action and some large dark olives. Um, I've seen a few hawthorns just beginning to come out, which are you kind of flies for this time of year. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to investigate. I'm going to go up to the top of the river uh, where I saw those fish rising. That area being very sheltered, there's a wonderful hatch that quite often drops off the island into the top of the main river up there. And hopefully we might see if we can find a few fish rising. Still a bit of a chill in the air. so. You know, even though the sun is shining, it's probably only 12 degrees. You know, it's just going to depend on what's happening. We're just going to head up towards the top of the beat, see if those olives are coming off the island, because there were some really nice fish rising up there. I'd really quite like to get involved in that. The carrier seems to be coming on really well. It's good weed growth coming in. You can see some wild fish moving around in there already. There's normally quite a lot of very big fish that hang around it up here, sometimes quite close to the edge. So I've got to be reasonably careful. It's a bit windy. I was hoping it would be a bit stiller up here. There's a little grayling. There's still a little bit of color in the river. Although that'll fine down over the next couple of weeks. Oh, that was a rise. Maybe there are a few olives trickling off. We might get lucky. So I'm just coming up to the area where those fish were rising the other day. It's definitely stiller here. As soon as you get up to this section, oh, there's rising going on down there. Always the way, isn't it? I shall persist with plan A. That was a proper rise. Now this is where the big rise was. Big splashy rise. Something very large came up and ate something big. Maybe I should change. Maybe I should do something really mad, like some put a big sedge on. Show me where you're at, guys. So maybe that ridge line just over there. I think it's time to change tactics. Maybe see if we can't induce some aggressive nature. Right. Let's see where the scuttling sedge can bring up any monsters from the deep. Just gonna sit and watch for a while and just see if anything else happens up here. I do so love the beginning of the season. It gets me so excited. You spend all winter tucked in your house, and in this case, really tucked into your house, uh, reading books and buying fishing tackle and you know getting all ready for the coming season. And now it's here, it's finally here. April's here and get out on the water. Ooh, there's an olive. All we're waiting for is just for the temperatures to warm up a little bit get the large dark olives going. Hopefully we'll get some hawthorn coming through quite soon, which are the kind of the, the flies which are hatching at this time of year. I mean, you get large dark olives all year round, but especially right now when those fish are just coming onto the feed. I've actually been reading John Waller Hill's Summer on the Test again. It's one of those books that I always like to read at the beginning of the season. It gets me in the mood, it gets me going. Written in the 1920s, it runs you through basically a season on the test. 
It's fascinating to see that actually very little has changed in a hundred years. Same fly patterns, same hatches of insects, albeit probably not as many as it was in his day. But in that book, he quotes about the fact that every day in April that you get, you should consider a bonus because it's before the main season starts. And if you can get a couple of good days in April, it's a real bonus to the start of your fishing season. Well, there's not a lot going on at the moment. I'm just coming up to the very top of the beat. This is where it actually narrows up quite nicely. So the, the main current here splits in this, uh, on this island in the middle. And we've got this lovely channel on this side, which just is absolutely gorgeous with some overhanging trees on the other side. As you can see, the water's still pretty murky, but it's gonna shallow up here. Um, and I'm hoping that I will then be able to actually see something to fish for. There's normally a fish or two underneath those trees over there. It's got a little CDC olive pattern on. Honk, honk, honk. Yes, yes, I heard you. Where's your mate anyway? Oh, yes! Oh, hey! A little out of season, season gravy. Let's have you back quick as, a, quick as a flash, mate. Flies out. You're supposed to be a trout. Come on, go back. You're out of season. Quickly, quick. Well, at least I caught something. I wasn't having much luck up the top of the river, so I've changed tactic and I've come down to fish one of the carriers that heads down towards the broads area. It's a little bit shady here, and I'm just gonna see what's going on. I've seen a couple of rises. Hopefully we might be able to tempt something in here. It's quite a cool little carrier, this. There's normally one or two quite nice fish hanging in it. What's this, it's some cover. Looks that pod of grayling. It's gonna go right over his nose. Oh, he looked at it, he wiggled. Well, that's a fish. It wasn't quite the fish I was going for. Right now, I'll take it. I came down to the bottom of the beat, hoping there might be a little bit more movement, but actually, as soon as the sun is off the water, it's really parky. So even though it looks absolutely gorgeous, it's still quite cold. And there's just not a lot going on, I'm afraid. God, it's good to be out though. It's really pretty down here. And it feels just marvelous to be wandering on the river again with a rod in my hand. So I'm grateful for that. I think I'm just going to fish my way up and hope I see something. Fish just came up and had a look at that. Let's see if he comes up again. Come on. All I saw was a big snout and a roll of an eye and then a bulge of water as he descended to the below. Come on. Oh, there's another rise back there. I think that might have been him. Come on, come on, I see you, I saw you, you had a look at it. That's a proper fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think that's the same fish that rolled his eyeballs at me earlier. Just very sporadic rises. So they'll come up, they'll eat something, then they'll go back down again and sulk. There goes another one over there. Maybe something is just beginning to happen. Let's just pop one on the other 
side there and see if there's anything big and lurking. And there was, oh no, he's off. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh well. DC ate my olive. Well guys, it's been a wonderful evening down here at Tescom. Hasn't been as productive as I would hoped. I've had some great excitement with a few big fish that really just don't wish to play my game. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this little trip down here and please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.